Hey guys, this is another video from uh, quite a few years back, so feel free to f make fun of me if you like. This is uh, a sediment filter being installed. Um, a sediment filter, not unlike what you might find at your house or something like that. It's not nothing special. Well, it is kind of special, actually. Um, it is special because uh, most water filters like this will require an entering water pressure of about 40 psi otherwise you're not going to get any uh, uh, it's, it's not going to flow through there the, the filter is going to have too much resistance um, like I said this is just a sediment filter so this is the most open kind of filter we can have uh, but what as you uh, may have seen in my one of my past videos we had a uh, uh, a condenser main break underwater uh, underground excuse me and um it, it obviously had been leaking like that for years and uh between that and lack of chemical uh, chemical treatment on the closed loop in the past uh, there's just a lot of sediment and sand and other things inside of our closed loop which is not good um and there's one particular uh, a particular pair of units in a particular space on a particular floor of this building um, that for some reason they catch they're the sediment traps uh, they that's where the sediment wants to wind up for whatever reason it has something to do with how it's how it's plumbed I don't know uh, that's where the sediment ends up though so uh, what we were having happen um, is the, the condensers were getting full of sand or whatever and the units would trip out on high pressure and then we get the tenant calling us and we got no air conditioning so uh, uh, so I, I've back flushed him a number of times and we still we still have it happening. So this is uh, Until we get all the sediment out of here. We got to use a filter like this and I have another assembly for this is for a four ton unit not a, a one inch water supply and return as a uh, about a 2.5 ton unit and that's three quarter um, but Basically gonna do the same thing there. Um, we have old gate valves for isolation. So I'm gonna uh, install a shutoff valve here anyways uh, the gate valves I think they work but uh, just for ease of use we're gonna put one there and then another one uh, we're also going to be replacing the circuit setter on this unit uh, which was the exact same one as the one you saw me uh, soldering up last week for our um, our building our San Diego building there um, so I'm going to do the uh, exact same inch and a quarter uh, so I'll put that when that comes in I'll do, I'll do that too um, and it'll be an isolation valve on the other side of that and build a similar thing to what you saw there That's what those unions are for and then I'm putting a union on this half So obviously this is sitting in there on the pipe And I'm going to take this part apart thread all of this on there thread all of this on there And then I have to have a union right here to be able to take it out if I need to. And you, you understand how that works. I'm sure um, so uh, That's what's going on there. So we're gonna do that times two and I uh, thought I'd give you a little um, Maybe we get a little soldering uh, soldering action here. So Let's give Okay, friends now we're recording. I Don't know why but uh, I thought I was recording what I just did there was not Little matter, um, but here we go uh, there's one side of our uh, assembly. Yeah, this. One side of our assembly. Um, the isolation valve side. I saw, soldered the uh, valve on first because uh, it used the most heat, and then did the copper to copper connection afterwards. So, if that makes sense to you. So that's done. That side's done. So, once again, <laughs> looks like you will get a video of me soldering a union half. And that is all. Wow. working in front of the camera here I'm trying to this camera beeps at me all the time it sucks when it's on the hack camera up there because I hear the beep and I trust that it's recording but that's not always the case apparently 
So there's our pretty little union half. And there's our pretty little nipple. All sanded up and shiny. Go ahead and take that guy right on off of there too. Yeah. One piece at a time here. Wanted to make sure the camera then turkey. So put a nice hook on your solder. You'll like it. You'll think you can. Want to start at the bottom. Yeah, it a little bit. Bottom goes all together. You want to you get to do that. See the side down. Drip, drip, drip. Pretty. Me gusta mucho. Ah, that's a little too much. Let it cool off for just a second before you hit it with the white rag. Right? Woohoohoo! Yow! Wet rags do transfer heat very nicely, folks. I've just seen a First hand example of that. Wow. That was warm. Yeah. Never a dull moment. Nice and solid. Wow, that was hot. <laughs> and that thing is still pretty hot. It's amazing, folks. Copper is an amazing, amazing conductor of heat. Probably why we use it so much. Let's just let it sit. Let it sit in there. Let it sit in there and think about what it did. Bastard. Burn me. You're burning me. <laughs> All right. Ah, uh, let's get some. Working time still. We got time to sweat that MIP on there. So we're gonna go ahead and do one of those. Now some of these fittings, these fittings are seemingly nicer than others. Uh, some of them. They fit real loosely, and you wouldn't wouldn't even dream of doing this. Being able to put it at an angle like that, and have a grip, wouldn't dream of it. But these ones, for some reason, it's just trial, not trial and error, uh, just luck of the draw, we'll say. There's no rhyme or reason to whether it drop water in there will or will not work. So. Squishes on in there, real nice.
good there, folks. I still hurt. There you go. I'll uh, I'll get you guys back when I'm uh, putting this thing together.